Well, good afternoon, everyone. Today is pretty cool. So I got the key to this 2023 Chevy Silverado, and this is no ordinary 1500. This is the 1500 ZR2. And this isn't your ordinary ZR2. This is the ZR2 Bison. So this has a few extra bits and pieces on it from AEV, or American Expedition Vehicles. Uh, so you can see the bumpers are different. That's from AEV. You got the front bumpers with these little fog lights right here. You got the special 18 inch wheels. You got the rocker guards. You got the, the uh, stickers. The rear bumper is also from AEV. And then you get like a black decal over this part of the multi-flex tailgate if it has the multi-flex tailgate, as well as badges all throughout here. So also another thing is the, so it has AEV badges on the all weather floor liners as well. I mean, this is it guys. This is probably the greatest vehicle that they've come up with in quite a while in terms of off-roading capability. So let's go back down to the tailgate. So the way it works, sorry for the wind guys, the way it works is there's two buttons. So this drops the whole tailgate and this drops just the top part, the step part. So we're gonna hit this one and then this one together. So this way, they both come down at the same time. And then we're gonna press that button and that's gonna come down. And then this latch comes undone and that pulls out. So this way you can get up into the bed, no problem. Now it does have a spray and bed liner and it says ZR2 in at the end there. I'm gonna put this back up. And you do have outlets that are insulated. You have an outlet in the bed right here for 400 watts. Pull that, pull that back in. And then we're gonna lift the whole thing up. It's not the lightest thing in the world, but it's not impossible. So let's get in here. All right, so you'll notice this interior is a little bit different than other half tons that Chevy has. So this is a two-tone. So you have jet black and gray stone. This is only available in the ZR2. And then you have this yellow stitching throughout it as well, which I think looks really nice. And then you do have a lot of the comforts that the high country has added on to with the off-road aspects like a trail boss. So it's kind of like both of them mixed together uh, and then some. So you have your heated seats in the back here, charge ports, you got heated seats and cooled seats up front. You got a really nice sunroof. This thing is pretty cool. Ton of room in the back. I mean, guys, you could pretty much take a nap on the floor, especially when they drop the drive shaft a little bit to make this a little more flat. There's not as much of a hump. So we're gonna pop the hood. This is the fun part. So this is the, if the badges on the hood didn't give it away, this is the 6.2 liter V8. So this makes 420 horsepower, 460 pound feet of torque. This is driven to a 10 speed automatic. Uh, and fuel economy isn't too bad. I mean, as far as big off-road monster trucks are concerned, you get like 14 miles a gallon in the in, around town and then like 17 miles a gallon on the highway. So not about what you would expect. Now, a lot of you guys are probably asking what this thing tows. Now the lift does put a damper on towing a little bit. Uh, this tows about 8,800 pounds, which still is pretty solid, but it, it tows a lot more without the lift and everything, but not a lot of people are going to use these to pull stuff. It's going to be mostly for off-roading, so we're going to hop in the driver's seat and get her started up. Love the startup screens, and then obviously for the ZR2, it says ZR2 right there. Growls to life. Oh man, that AC feels great. I'm going to turn it down a little bit though. Okay. I'm going to stay in there. All right. So I'll go ahead and put my belt on. There we go. try and turn down this a little bit there we go so let's talk about the inside a little bit so Bose sound system standard 
You get your mirrors power fold in. You have your memory settings. I already set them, but you have your memory settings here. That just means I set my seat. You have your heads up display right here. So I don't know if you guys can really see, but you guys kind of have your speed in the windshield and then it gives you a little bit of driver information that you can switch with this info button. So you can switch between, this is all your inclination stuff like steering angle, grade, bank, stuff like that. Two wheel drive, four wheel drive. You can make it just your speed and then your adaptive cruise control is on top. And then that's your following distance indicator and a compass. This is a ZR2 Bison, so we're leaving it on the inclination. That only feels natural. So then you got, uh, below it, you can actually dim and brighten that, so you can turn that off if you don't want it, but I like having that on. And you can also move it up and down depending on how tall or short you are. You do have your, uh, your four-wheel drive buttons here. You can change between two-wheel, four-wheel high, four-wheel low. The truck has to be stopped in a neutral to use four-wheel low, but most of you already knew that. And then you have your drive mode dial here, so you can switch between normal, off-road, and terrain. You have to be in four-wheel drive to use terrain, but that change, all, the, all they all change the traction settings, so this way you guys can have better grip off-road. So you got your tow mode there if you decide to tow with this. Headlights are automatic, your fog lights, your bed lights. Get dim the gauges. Here, heated steering wheel is right here. You can turn on your adaptive cruise control. You can switch between normal cruise and adaptive cruise if you'd prefer one or the other. You can set your gap uh, for your following distance indicator and your adaptive cruise. You'll notice it has paddle shifters because it has the special precision shifter. So you have paddle shifters instead of the column shift. So over here, let's go home. You have your audio. That's AM, FM, Sirius XM capability. And then you can go to your phone. You can pair your phone wireless with Bluetooth so you can project your Apple CarPlay or Android Auto on the screen here. This does have Google built in, but it is a trial period. You do have to get a... A subscription uh, once the trial expires but you do have Google built in if you decide to uh, take advantage of it and purchase it cameras you got all your cameras here so you have your surround vision you can turn that on and off so you have a bigger screen for the backup camera if you want so you have your front camera your back camera this same view but zoomed in on the front and back you have your side mirrors front and back you have your hitch view, and you have your bed view. Pretty cool. And it actually turns with the ladders, and you can zoom in. All right, so let's do, we'll go back. And then, yep, Apple CarPlay, Android Auto, those will uh, be highlighted if you have them connected. Trailering, same thing as the other ZR2. If you haven't watched that other ZR2 video, go ahead and watch that. Same, Pretty much the same thing as this. And then you got your uh, trailer profiles you can make, trailer light tests, stuff like that. Trailering is just a one-person job now with all these apps that you have. Now your lane departure warning and lane keep assist, that's on. Parking sensors front and back are on. Uh, auto stop, if you don't mind that it stops at red lights and stuff like that, shuts the engine off. That drops the tailgate, hazards, traction control. That's your downhill descent control if you're going really slow down somewhere steep. And then these are your front and rear lockers. So this does have a not only a front locking diff, but also a or not only a rear locking diff, but also a front. Uh, and fun fact: the Silverado ZR2 and the Colorado ZR2 are the only trucks that Chevy offers with a front locking diff. They all have most of them. They have rear locking diffs, but this is the only truck with a front locker. And like I said, you do have heated seats, cooled seats, uh, and then the steering wheel over there. All your climate buttons are down here. Air conditioning. Your trailer brake controller is right here. You do have charge ports right here, type A and type C USB. And then if you open up here, you got some more outlets here, as well as an actual three prong outlet right there. And then this is where you put your phone. This is your wireless charging port right there. And then you got one glove box down here, not too bad of a size. And then you press this button and that's your second glove box. You have a smaller one up there. Now we're gonna open this because I like natural light. You got your power slide rear window, built-in garage door opener, one touch, little bug net comes up for your sunroof. And then you also have your rear camera mirror. So right now, it's just a normal piece of glass, just a normal rear view mirror, but you flip it, now it's a camera. And you can zoom, you can dim and brighten it, you can zoom in and out and you can move it up and down to adjust it. Pretty sweet. 
All right, guys. I think we're ready to take this thing for a spin. So you put your front. It's a little bit of a learning curve, but it's not too difficult. So you put your foot on the brake. There's a little unlock button right here. It's almost like a safety. Let's call it a safety. So you push that in and just pull back, and that's drive. And then same thing. You push it in and push it all the way forward for reverse. And then the, uh, the P button on top is park. So let's take this thing for a ride, guys. Now you're probably wondering, what does something like this cost? So, the base ZR2 without the Bison package, uh, that, that starts at around 72.4, 72.4, somewhere in there. Now, the it has the Glacier Blue paint, that's about 400 bucks. It has the Bison package, which is 78.95, and that gives you all the bumpers and the floor liners and the, it does also have special skid plates branded from AEV underneath pretty much the whole truck. Um, and then you have the multi-flex tailgate, which is about four or 45. So altogether, this truck with destination is running you about 85 grand. I think eight, just a hair over 85,000, about 85,040, I think is what it was. Now, obviously, those 33s do rumble a little bit, but not, not too bad. They definitely do make a little noise, though. That is just a mean-looking truck. Like, that hood cowl that it has, man, this thing looks good. I love the blue, too. And those multi-matic dampers that this thing had takes bumps extremely well. Yeah, it's been, I'm surprised we got a break in the rain here. It's been raining non-stop for like the past almost week. It's not supposed to let up anytime soon, so I'm glad I got a dry window here for you guys. Nothing worse than doing this in the rain, because you can't hear anything. All right, let's test out the handling here. the bump really well. Very nice. For being a lifted truck, not a lot of body roll. That was surprising.
that's kind of neat you can see the uh, the grade on the inclination data that you have there we're going down like a six seven percent grade got up to eight there And you can see the truck, if it's banked, and the grade, it'll actually move the truck on the, the visual there to show you, which is really cool. This thing has the safety alert seat, so every time I go over the double yellow there, my, the, my left, uh, the left side of my butt vibrates. <laughs> this is really weird. Right, ride quality is great, guys, as far as these shocks go. For being a big off-road, brute, monster truck thing, this is pretty comfy. I mean, I love the gray. The two-tone is great. I love the gray seats, the gray and black mixed together with the yellow stitching. It just, the whole interior just pops. And then the, this has like a texturing on it, on the door, for, the door sills here.
This is this is always fun. Can't wait till they're done with this road work. Time for the on-ramp test. Very nice. Very good. Man, that thing that thing's pretty quick for how heavy this is. Set the adaptive cruise here to about 70. And it shows you that the adaptive cruise is set on there as well. And your following distance indicator. So it shows you that there's a car in front of you at a safe distance. And then if I were to get over, it should, yeah, the, the lines will show up orange next to that car up there to let you know that you're veering out of your lane. Yep, yep, so it should, it has the lane keep assist, so it keeps you from going out. Yeah, Chevy's definitely approaching uh, Raptor territory with this thing. I mean, this was kind of their answer to it. I mean, Ford has had the Raptor for, geez, 10 years or better now. Um, so they they know the game pretty well. But uh, this is actually a pretty nice answer to it. And I guess it's similar money. Like I said, this is stickered at about $85,000. Uh, you can get them quite a bit cheaper. I think the Bison that I did, I mean, the, the normal ZR2 that I did a couple videos ago, that was probably seventy five. I mean, I know they started around 72, but that one had like one or two options plus destination. That was around like 75, so you don't have to get the Bison Edition. I just think it's really cool. Like the bumpers and everything with the higher approach angles and all the skid plates just really set this thing off and really make you, really make you want to go off-roading with it. And believe me, it can do it. It's kind of, it's kind of nice how they have the the rear exhaust pipes kind of tucked up underneath the rear bumper for a higher rear approach angle or exit angle. Just a really solid truck, guys, for that kind of a segment. Because now we're getting into big money for trucks. So this is this is about as much as like a fully loaded High Country 2500. I'm actually going to sneak in here. Yeah, as far as everything's concerned, this is a pretty great answer to the Raptor. Now, the 3.5 EcoBoost still might have a little bit more power than this yet, but performance is very similar. Chevy's made their chimes a lot more elegant, too. It's a small thing, but it's definitely something that I notice. The startup, the blinkers. They've really tried to put a premium feel to their vehicles, and it's working. 
All right, so let's put this thing in reverse. Yeah, that's super clear. You can get yourself perfect in the lines there. Sweet. Well, that was really cool, guys. Yeah, Chevy's got definitely got uh, got their foot in the door with the whole off-road brute monster truck Baja dune buggy <laughs> type truck game because this thing is absolutely incredible. And it's the small things that I really like too about this because not only is the bumpers different, you have these little tiny lights in here too. And then the ZR2 has like this, it's, uh, it's not an actual solid bow tie. They actually call it a flow tie because you can, you can, the air just you know flows right through it. But man, this is, yeah, especially with the headlights, the fog lights are on right now. Man, that's a good looking truck. I mean, for 85 grand, guys, this thing could be yours. So yeah, I really hope you guys enjoyed watching this video. I know I enjoyed doing it. And of course, thank you very much, Blaze Alexander Chevy and Muncie PA for allowing me to keep doing these videos. Really appreciate it, guys. And I'll see you in the next one.